The Indian Burying Ground by Philip Freneau Read for LibriVox.org by Alan Davis Drake Epigraph The North American Indians bury their dead in a sitting posture, decorating the corpse with wampum, the images of birds, quadrupeds, etc., and, if that of a warrior, with bows, arrows, tomahawks, and other military weapons. Freno. In spite of all the learned have said, I still my old opinion keep. The posture that we give the dead points out the soul's eternal sleep. Not so the ancients of this land. The Indians, when from life released, again is seated with his friends, and shares again the joyous feast. His imaged birds, and painted bowl, and venison for a journey dressed, bespeak the nature of the soul, activity that knows no rest. His bow, for actions ready bent, and arrows with a head of stone, can only mean that life is spent, and not the old ideas gone. Thou, stranger, that shalt come this way, no fraud upon the dead commit. Observe the swelling turf, and say they do not lie, but here they sit. Here still a lofty rock remains, on which the curious eye may trace, now wasted half by wearing reins, the fancies of a ruder race. Here still an aged elm aspires, beneath whose far-projecting shade, and which the shepherd still admires, the children of the forest played. There oft a restless Indian queen, pale Sheba with her braided hair, and many a barbarous form is seen to chide the man that lingers there. By midnight moons, or moistened dews, in habit for the chase arrayed, the hunter still the deer pursues, the hunter and the deer a shade. And long shall timorous fancy see the painted chief and pointed spear, and reason's self shall bow the knee to shadows and illusions here. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain.